Hey Indie Game fans, October 2019 is the third month in a row for awesome new indie game releases as we head on into the fall, which is traditionally video game release season. So here are the top 10 best upcoming indie games for October 2019. The heavy metal action platformer, Belfaris, has been a title which I've been looking forward to due to the combination of gorgeous pixel art, non-stop action, and the heavy metal sci-fi theme. This is from the developer of the similarly metal slain back from hell and looks like an absolute blast. There seems to be upgrades to the weapons, but not exactly a full-on metroidvania, so we'll see on the structure of this. The Green Reaper loves music and dancing in this puzzle game. Felix the Reaper is a romantic comedy about the life of death, traverse the levels and set up elaborate scenarios to reap the souls of those who are about to die. It's a light-hearted take on the whole Grim Reaper thing, but grooving to the beat seems pretty sweet. Love the aesthetics and the puzzles were quite challenging in the demo that I played. The sci-fi metroidvania Out Buddies is also releasing in October, where you play as an explorer trapped in the underwater city of Balam, once home to the old gods but now crawling with all sorts of enemies and monstrosities. You guys know my love of metroidvania games, so this one was a no-brainer. There's the option for co-op with the robotic buddy unit, and the traversal abilities seen in the trailer definitely pay tribute to Metroid. Jonathan will find this place. You must know that. He will not. It's on no maps, no registries. Why bring us here? Why take such a risk? You are the key to a lock, my birthright, that will take what I am owed. No, I suspect you will be given what you deserve. This is a weird one since Bethel Games is known for their narrative-focused titles such as Thomas Was Alone, Subsurface Circular and Quarantine Circular, but somehow a John Wick game is coming out of the studio. Even weirder, for an action movie franchise, this is a turn-based tactics game that somehow works and looks great. John Wick Hex has you playing as the eponymous character, and since this character is basically Neo from The Matrix Reborn, the turn-based combat and pausing of time does translate well into the action, so pretty neat concept and innovation. The open-world action-adventure RPG, Pine, which stars a multitude of anthropomorphic animals, also makes the list and looks very ambitious. In this world, humans are not at the top of the food chain, which is a pretty interesting setup, having to find a new home for your tribe, fight, explore, and craft your way through the world with six different biomes which provide that variety. The open-world nature is intriguing, since I don't think that this will follow the Ubisoft model, so we'll see later this month. Hell be 
basically runs itself nowadays. Yeah, I have to assign torches and clean up, uh, priest skeletons every once in a while, but people typically know what to expect. Except for well, these two morons I keep hearing about. Milo and Lola have been best friends for life, but unfortunately, both passed away just before graduating college. They go through processing, get their personal demon, the whole thing. But then they take a cab ride from Sam, and she goes and blabs about the loophole. However, there is a loophole in that they can escape the torments of hell if they outdrink Satan himself. So welcome to the after party. them to outdrink Hell's Monarchs first, you know. This is an adventure game from the developer of the spooky Oxen Free and features devilish drinks, drinking games, and narrative choices. Losers will have to deal with karaoke crowds, the lava swamps, the fanatics from the Force Circle. I mean, these complete idiots really have no idea what they're getting into. I need a drink. Is he talking to us? <laughs> Disco Elysium is a very PC title if I ever saw one, in that this is a detective CRPG in the vein of games like Fallout and Baldur's Gate. The RPG. Unlike anything you've seen before. There are cases to be solved. This has been in development for a while and apparently is quite the massive experience promising about 30 hours if you rush through the game, with a more normal playtime clocking in at something around 60 hours. Consequences to be dealt with. Its RPG core is the main thing, with stats, dice rolls, leveling up, items, equipment and so on, as well as a dialogue system with depth, since you are able to pit NPC characters against each other. Be a hero, a prophet, a madman, and the greatest detective the world has ever seen. It is not too explicitly focused on combat, but it does look very impressive nonetheless. Disco Elysium. A little birdie told me that Stranded Sails, Explorer of the Cursed Islands, will make the launch in October, but a specific date has not yet been confirmed. This is a farming sim crossed with exploration and action-adventure combat where you and your crew are shipwrecked on an island and have to work together to survive. I love farming sims and this has been on my watch list for quite a while, so excited to get the opportunity to check this out. Perhaps one of the most obvious picks for this video is Indivisible from Lab Zero Games, the developer behind the fighting game Skull Goals, but this time, the team has put their talents into crafting a Metroidvania RPG which looks gorgeous and has quite a unique battle system, since you control a party of 4 characters with an emphasis on combos. There are something like 20 different party members if I'm not mistaken, so hopefully that translates to plenty of depth and strategy when choosing your party members.
really looks excellent and looks like a strong contender for Game of the Year. Speaking of beautiful art, Warsaw has you playing as the Polish resistance during the Warsaw Uprising in World War II, which, unfortunately, was a catastrophe in history. However, from the video evidence, we can see the obvious inspiration from Darkest Dungeon, which is one of my all-time favourite games, so throw a World War II skin on that and you got my attention. There also appears to be roguelite elements as well, with non-linear gameplay, so this takes the number one spot. For more upcoming indie game new releases, check out the previous video or click on the recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.